Eastern Ontario Outdoor Grow. Welcome back to the channel, guys. How the fuck are you? Got an update for you. So, still looking for a second hoop house. I am gonna be putting this one on top of probably the two big ones at the back, going this way. And then I'm still looking for the second one to go right here. That's in the works. Um, everything's looking okay, I guess. I got some yellowing out on the power plant. Got some burnt ends, yellowing, oranging. I've been trying to clean her up. Just give me a few issues, but she's got some new soil. Got some perlite in her. Um, got a little bit of fertilizer, actually. There's uh, um, sheep shit. So I got some of that. Um, I think I'm going to go get some worm castings as well. Just trying to give him a little bit of a boost of fertilizer. No newts. Trying to keep it as uh, natural as possible. This one here is your glukies. Glukies, guys. Gromies. And she's just doing her thing. She's got a happy little bed now again. A little bit of perlite. Fresh soil. Trying to make a bowl. Going all the way around the plant. So I can just pour my five gallon pails in. It holds the water, let it go down, do the other half of the pail, allow it to go down. At least, you know, he got a really good soaking. Glookies. Yep, she won't give me much, but she'll give me something to taste. It's all right. It's all right, guys. And over here, you get the blue rascal. The bush. Yeah, she's got a new bed. New soil. Fresh drink. Um, this morning it's actually well water. Is what I'm giving them. Well water this morning. Just give them a drink. Keep them going. I got no real yellowing or tinging or burn ends on this one. Or the peanut butter breath. Um, they're actually both quite healthy. They're not showing any signs of discoloring. Oh, actually, hold on guys. I can't lie. I don't like lying, but hold on. What do I see here? Down on our knees. Okay. We got one. But I haven't pulled any other ones out this. Let me just keep that starting. That's the first one like that. But it was up on our knees. So, I just keep looking. Kind of watching the plants. We got pistols. We're pre-flowering. We usually go into flower around the 12th of August. So today is the 4th of August, 2023. And uh, yeah, we're watching. We're watching, we're waiting and getting ready to get the supports out here that they're gonna need once the flowering gets going and they start putting the stretch on. Yeah, Blue Rascal guys, Gromies. Yeah, and then I'm over here. Uh, we got the peanut butter broth. Peanut butter broth. It is early in the morning. It's actually around 11 o'clock right now. 11.30 in the morning. Nice new bed. Got some perlite in it. Um, I got no sheep shit in here. And I got no fertilizer in here. It's just the fresh new soil and uh, well water. That's all I'm using. We got some storms rolling through. It has been raining, but nothing uh, terrible, nothing destroying anything around here in this area. But I know like down in Norwood and Peterborough and Toronto, they all got it last night. They had a couple of tornado watches. And uh, yeah, we're okay over here, where we are. So this is what's going on. This is where we're at, August 4th, and we're waiting for flowering. Look at those little tiny white flowers to start on every node popping so for pre-flowering pistols are booming everywhere on all the plants i'm still watching this power plant i can't seem to grow a perfectly healthy fucking no problematic power plant i don't know what it is so this one i don't know three years ago i had a power plant over in that hole and the fucking thing rotted on the inside the whole stalk actually was brown when i chopped her off because everyone just died it was like folded down every leaf was turning yellow and orange it was dead 
That was three years ago in this hole. So I thought I'd put the power plant in this hole. Not that it makes any difference. Glukies is okay. Power plant, I'm not sure. Eastern Ontario in the Ottawa Valley area. Power plant does not like me. It doesn't like me. I'm not really enjoying this one this year. I might have to give up. Power plant is definitely not working out for me. And I thought this year was going to be power plant redemption. I wanted to grow a fucking beast like the Blue Rascal. Or like I had a couple years ago. Um, yeah, we had a couple big fucking plants going on here. Blackjacks. Eight foot four and they were like fucking eight feet wide and, you know, all types of goodies. But this one, I don't know. Power plants is giving me some issues. Uh, I opened her up. I cleaned her out. I'm trying to hold on to her. Trying to keep her green. New soil. More water. I actually watered yesterday morning. And I'm watering her again this morning. Because I'm trying to get that water into her. Especially in the mornings. Right now as we're speaking, she's drinking. She's trying to soak all that up. And I'm hoping it's going to do something. It might be me. Maybe I, I haven't given it enough water in this hole. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But everything else is going good, guys. Everything else is going awesome. We are growing in the outdoors, in ground, all natural. I know it's a little different than the other gromies. I know they're not as big or as bushy or big and thick and fucking up to here and, you know, just one great big fucking massive plant. I don't have that this year. And I'm just going to have to be okay with that. Um, it is what it is. Right? So, that's where we're at. Thanks for uh, clicking on the video, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that like button if you like what you see. And uh, we'll definitely get back to you. We'll be back here in probably another uh, five days. I want to do it five days. Because I know flowering is coming. I want to get those first little white flowers popping first thing in the morning. So as soon as that happens, I'll be right here on the channel. Okay, guys? I'll keep you posted. We're doing our best. Power plant. It is what it is. Glukies is taking off on its own little pace. It's a cute little girl. I can call her a midget. Blue rascal. Booming. It's a bush. Peanut butter brass in the back. It's also doing okay. I do wish they were bigger, but I know that's probably going to be taking some newts. Compost teas, fertilizers, all that. So maybe next year I'll change my game. I am just seeing what works in my grow area. Water only. Next year I think I'm going to go back to the newts. I want some trees. I want some canna trees. This is... Uh, newbie kind of style here going on they're not as big and bushy as i want them to be but we'll get what we get and uh, as we go through the stages or going through the flower um eight weeks nine weeks ten weeks hopefully by the end of october we can then we can harvest i'm hoping not sooner than that i want to let them go and let them finish out so we'll see we'll see i'm gonna be patient this year i'm not gonna rush it and i'm not gonna do too much so let the girls finish that strong, get nice and dense, big colas, you know, all that fun stuff. Watching the uh, orange hair turn back on itself to go back. Clear indications when she's just about done. And then we're going to do the uh, microscope on the buds. I'm going to sacrifice a bud, one of the main tops of each plant. And we're going to scan it. We're going to take a look at the trichomes. And we're going to see where we're at for the amber when we're starting to finish out. I'll have that right here in the channel this year. You will not miss out. So, stay uh, stay tuned. Click on that subscribe if you haven't already. And come on back, guys. All your gromies. Eastern Ontario. Outdoor grow. Let's do it. So, I'll be back in five days. August 9th or August 10th. I will be back with another, another update. Checking them out. Alright, guys. Okay, take care of yourselves, keep it green, stay lifted, and uh, take care of yourselves, all right?
We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Peace. Eastern Ontario, Outdoor Grow 2023.